What's up dudes and dudettes, fellow Kerbal Knots, this is Noel on PC, and today we're playing some KSP. We're back in the, the driver's seat of the Experimental Research Division's militarized division, and we are testing, we've created a carbon copy of Cape Kerbnaveral, including fake cardboard cutouts of Kerbals. We're going to test the effects of massive radiation nuclear drops. Oh jeez, okay. We've got two, I can't show you right now because we're in a bank, I've got two of those gigantic orange fuel tanks in here with some wheels, some various parachutes and things, and uh, and we've created basically as close to the, the KSP equivalent of a nuclear bomb as, as you can make in this game without adding a mod for a nuclear bomb, which I'm not, I'm not going to be doing. I like to find a, a, an in-game analog for all the things I want to do, so I needed a nuke. And I used two of those gigantic orange tanks stuck together. We put some wheels on the bottom, so hopefully they will roll out the back. Some parachutes if they're going a little too fast, etc., etc. All right, that's pretty good in line. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get the nose up a little bit. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, geez. Right about there would be optimum. All right, we're going to quick save. Boink. There we go. The the shitty thing about quick save, and I hope they do something about this soon, is when you load in a plane, the engines start at zero thrust. So like we'd load in here and it'd be like, boo, the engines are just zero, and then they start firing up. But they take so long to fire up that now you're in this ridiculous descent. I mean, the best thing you can do is something like this: get your speed up. We're doing like 300 miles an hour, then quick save. So when you come to and your engines are stalled out. You've at least still got some lift. They have to address that soon. They have to address that. It's gonna be nice when we're on like version 3.0 or something, and like all of these shit bugs are gone. You know, we have we have wheels that actually work. You know, we have we have physics that don't break stuff. We'll have we'll have like I'll have more than 10 frames a second right now. And this craft only has 390 pieces. I have no idea why I'm getting 10 frames a second. This is just a little more than I was getting with uh, the International Space Station. Right, I was getting like five or six or something up there. So 10 isn't a whole lot more. Let's get this open. We're coming in at a, a fairly nice trajectory. I think we're coming in a little to the right. So I'm gonna try and correct a little to the left. I knew this craft was going to be really heavy when I made it. So these rear wings are actually for the lateral movement there, just like I was doing. I knew I was going to have to do a lot of that. Okay, things are looking good. Where are we? We're about two kilometers out. We're about two kilometers out, coming up to the moment of truth. Everyone's looking very concerned and worried. This is a big operation. This is a big operation. How much fuel do we have left? We are doing great. Oh, wait. Right, that's all that orange tank. <laughs> all right, coming about 1.25. Still look like we're in a good line right over everything. I don't know how long this is going to take to come out, hence why I said we'd give it at least a couple tries. thought that to myself, realizing now I might not have actually said that we'd give it a few tries, hence why we did quick saves. Alright, let's, uh, let's poop this. Well, oh, well, good, good thing the, uh, good thing, uh oh, okay, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, good thing the, uh, good thing the bomb came out. Um, are we? No, we're not on this, we're not on this. We were on a lift thing near it. That's a lift thing. Oh, game, please. It should almost be by, um, oh, there we go. It should almost be by, uh, like, priority, you know? Like, obviously this thing is a pri- oh, we came up. Yeah, we missed. We drastically missed, but we get to see the awesome explosion. 
So we know now we came up about this far away, right? So we gotta come up a little shorter next time. Um, what? Uh, what? Oh, put the wheels down. Put the wheels down. I had hoped that would actually survive. All right, let's do a quick save. Or, sorry, auto load. All right, we're coming to. Engines are dead, starting to fire up. Good stuff. We're gonna lose a bit of height, but that's okay. Because we started with speed. We're gonna keep some of this speed. All right, we're coming in a little to the left. Making the same corrections again. I'm definitely not gonna do a save once we've course corrected because we lost all our speed. I'd rather just make this little bit of turn each time. Things are happening. All right, we're accelerating. We are in a half decent line. To come a little bit to the right. I'm basically using this, this hypothetical straight line along the spine, this black line. I'm using that to make almost like a, a vertical line that goes all the way down to sort of see, am I in line? That's probably good enough. feeling it might have been these. Because they're the only ones that seem to be really in the ground. The rest are near the ground, but not, not in the ground. So we'll try that. We'll try that. Okay, we're coming up towards our drop point. Everyone is again looking very worried. We're going to try leaning back a little bit when we do release this weight. This leaning back shouldn't be a big deal. This craft should just sort of rock it off into oblivion. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's try a little short. Come on, poop out. Poop out. You know what? I'll take it. I'll literally, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, we're Toggling, we're toggling. Nope, there it is. Tried to raise that gear. It's having none of it. It's having none of it. Looks like we're going to overshoot again. Maybe. Wait. Wait. Hold. 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 Where's that craft? It's up there somewhere. No. Okay, so we definitely, we got to pop almost before the water. But this is really close. And the, uh, the, the brakes and everything really actually seemed to help. We were going to come up pretty long, but I was able to... Uh, Really slow this down and get it to the ground faster. I like it. All right, so let's do another load. <laughs> awesome. Perfect landing. Ten points. All right. Third times the charm, or so they say. Three's company. I think they say that too. Two's company, three's a crowd. All right, that looks pretty good. You can do the same thing. Draw a vertical line up or a little bit to the left. Boink, 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 boink. Just a couple of hairpins to the right. Do that again. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll take this. We'll take this. Okay, now we gotta pull. We gotta go really early. I'd rather go really early than really short, I think. <clears throat> I 
always say it's better to shoot long because if you come up short, you miss 100% of the putts you take. If you come up long, you at least have a chance. So it's a golf metaphor I always use. If you're gonna putt, putt past the hole. Because if you putt before the hole, you're gonna miss 100% of the shots you take. All right, so this, this applies. Let's get this open now so when we have to dump, we can just dump. Okay, I gotta lean back a bit because that did seem to help a lot. There was a lot less destruction of the craft when we had that height. to the drop point, I think. Bombs away. Poops away. Yeah, I did the same thing again. I'm okay with this. I could probably, I could land this, I think, actually. Yeah, I've got all my wheels, and i got all my motors. Let's just level off, throttle back a bit. Okay, we're gonna go find the big red poop. Is that it? There we go, big red poop. Okay, big red poop is in a descent trajectory. Can I get all of these up? I, I should have made a number for this. Huh, I actually managed to get them all up. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Okay, we're gonna get the arrow brakes out. Just basically, I'm trying to straighten this thing out. Nope, we missed again. We came up a little short. Oh, bud. Bud, we're going to be very close to crushing the, uh, the launch pad there. Oh. Oh. We are, actually, we are actually very close to crushing that launch pad. If that was our intended target... This would have been a successful mission. Boom. Awesome. Okay, can we, nice, land this guy? Now that this has had a, a ton of structural damage, we're gonna limp it home. That's what the inside of the uh, car this cargo container used to look like before I stuck that uh, cargo door on the back end. Basically, it was just a big empty hole of lift surfaces. And I originally designed this thing, uh, it just had the two engines and the big empty cargo hold, and it was a vomit comet. So I'd put a bunch of kerbals in the back and take them up to zero G. You know, you go up to about 10,000 meters really fast, straight up, and then you start pulling the nose down, and everybody in the back goes weightless. The problem is now, and I tried this with 1.0.5, is you can't get them to really go weightless. Um, I can actually show you what I mean. If you look, if you look on on the, um, if you look down at the bottom here, we have a G meter, right? So the little red up at the top is your plus 15 Gs. That's hard Gs. Down at the bottom is zero G, right? So I should be able to throttle way up. I should be able to pop this plane into the air. Now if I crank the nose down, that thing should go down to zero G. Right? It never does. No matter how big a plane I build, or small, I crank the nose down and it never seems to go below zero. It never goes into an actual zero-G environment where kerbals will literally just float. You can either smash them up or smash them down, but that thing doesn't actually drop. This thing is not behaving properly when it gets down to minimum values. It seems to work great when you're going up to 15. You know, if I pull up really hard, I can push it into 15, no problem. It understands pulling hard Gs, but it just doesn't understand 
0g and creating a 0g environment, creating that, as I said, vomit comet. So that's what this thing was designed to do intentionally, was to take passengers into a 0g environment. And it did, it did used to work. It did in previous versions of the game actually work. Right, we're coming in really fast, like way too fast. We're probably going to have to abort and go around. I think. Let's see. Yeah, we actually we shut off a lot of speed, just sort of wobbling up and down here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm having to actually hold back, otherwise this there's so much lift, this back end wants to come off the ground a little bit, and this craft wants to level out. So this this video was basically a failure. If you're watching this, it probably means that I had nothing else to upload, and this video hit the cutting room floor and somehow still got used. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry you didn't see a great success in this, but if you were willing to try this enough times, you could probably get it to work. So what I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to stick this in a Dropbox for you guys, and you guys can try this. You can either fix it, make it better, uh, fucking make it worse. I don't care. I'm not your boss. Um, yeah, you guys can give it a try, and you guys can see if your bombs can hit the KSP. If it does, let me know in the comments. All right, guys. I hope you liked the video. hope you comment. hope you share. hope you do all those things you guys do. And until next time, guys. Peace, love, safe flying.